I'm Ashley Weston. I'm a celebrity menswear stylist. So I have a very special guest for today's show, Andrew from PrimerMagazine.com. Andrew, tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Hey everybody, I'm Andrew from PrimerMagazine.com. Since 2008, Primer has been a resource for guys looking for affordable style, how-tos, self-development, and uh, having a cool place on a budget. Summer is right around the corner and I asked Andrew to put together a list of his top 10 summer essentials. Do you have that list? I do. All right, so we're basically gonna compare our list but play a game while we're at it. It's called Jelly Belly's Bean Boozled. Now, have you heard of this game? Well, I saw you play and it <laughs> looks terrifying. It's horrible. Just to really quickly go over the rules, basically, Andrew, I'm gonna have you read the items on your list. If they match, if each item matches my list, then we high five, the world is great, and we move on to the next item until we don't match. Mm. So if your item is not on my list, then we have to spin the wheel of doom. It will land on a color of Jelly Belly that, well this is where the fun or horrible part comes into play. You don't know what flavor it's gonna be. So a color could be a delicious fruity flavor like peach, or it will be something disgusting like throw up. Ooh, so, yum. Fun stuff, right? All right? I will tell you, it is disgusting. It's oh, horrible. No. So you ready to play? Let's do it, yes. Let's do this bean boozled All challenge. right. Item number one, Henley. No. What? Why Henley? Well, like a short sleeve or a long sleeve? You can go either way, but for me, I like them more than t-shirts. I mean, I love a Henley on a man, but I, I just always found like certain body types can't pull off a Henley. Interesting. So what, that's kind, what kind of body type? I would say heavier set men, a Henley is not going to look good. And can sometimes they... on skinny guys, it looks like, it makes them look even more puny. Uh, can, a build can... like yours, it looks nice on <laughs> something muscular like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, that's why I didn't put on the list. <laughs> the guest of honor. Juicy pear or booger? Ugh. Mm, that's booger. That is definitely booger. My show. It kind of tastes like grass. It tastes like dirt. Uh -huh. Dirt. My boogers don't taste like that. I mean, I don't, I don't eat boogers. This next item I know you have. Okay. I was thinking about kind of like how you do things, your style. Got it. Baggy cargo shorts with the dangly things on the side from a brand like Hollister. Right? Who doesn't Seriously? look good in baggy cargo shorts with dangly things on the side from a brand like Hollister? I guess all body types can wear that. All body types. All <laughs> so body types. So definitely go to PrimerMagazine.com because out. you get great content like this. Okay. Above the knee flat front shorts. Yes, I do. Well, so I actually had the colors, but I did have shorts. And above the knee, for sure, regardless of your body type or height, definitely. How far above the knee, though? I would say an inch, like around an inch, inch and a half. I think anything more than that, and it starts to get a little bit... It's aggressive. Um, it's very aggressive, European, tourist, kind of cheesy. So I think a good inch to inch and a half is a nice sweet spot. Agreed. That's normally like a 9 or 10 inch inseam, I think. There you go. All right. All right. Let's do this. Canvas sneakers. You know, I was going back and forth about this one because we had to limit it to 10. So it's hard. I did not put that. I was going to, oh, but it is, I do think that it's a great summer essential, a good canvas shoe. Good canvas. Yeah. Khaki, Damn. navy, green, all good colors. White. White. Okay, at least this is lime or lawn clippings. I feel like if I got the lawn clippings, I won't be mad at that. It's, it can't be that terrible. I have the worst luck. Why do I always get like the non-fruity delicious flavors? Wait, it's, no, that's not lime. It's lawn clippings. Mm -hmm. But It's not bad though. Number four. Yes. A NATO strap watch. I don't even have any watches on this list. <laughs> I didn't say NATO. I, but what I really said was, no. I think NATO strap uh, is essential. A NATO strap is usually cloth, but it can be leather. Okay. And instead of um, hinging on the watch pins, it slides in behind. So I've never a, used that with my client. Has a military background. Your turn. Okay. Ready? Two for two. On the line. 
berry blue or mm. toothpaste. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, that's a little minty taste. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mmm. That is berry blue. Mmm. It's I very got good. toothpaste. I feel like it's really freshening up my breath. I like it. It's just chewing gum. All right, number five. Mm -hmm. A linen shirt. I was gonna do the Oxford, or I chose Oxford button downs versus a linen shirt just because everyone should have an Oxford button down shirt already in their closet. Agreed. So it was just another item that maybe they didn't have to go out and purchase for their summer wardrobe. Definitely a staple. But I do like linens. Linens are great, especially if you're traveling or in hot weather. Hot it's weather, very breathable. if you're in Texas, if you're in the South, a linen shirt, especially for casual shirts, work really well. The only problem is they do wrinkle, but that's part of the charm. All right. Oh, we have to do this is again. It my, is it did, my turn? Did we not just, did, did we not do this? <laughs> we just oh. suck. <laughs> there we go. Caramel corn, <gasps> moldy cheese. No! <laughs> oh, no. Mm. That is a very tangy Roquefort cheese. Mm. Caramel corn. <laughs> Do you, you need like the toothpaste on now <laughs> I... to chase it with. All right, All let's right. see if we can get one. A fitted short sleeve shirt. No, I don't have that. I have another thing that is very similar to your Henley plus fitted shirt. <laughs> Ooh. Stinky socks. Or Tutti Frutti. It's gonna be stinky socks. Hopefully it's Tutti Frutti. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's definitely like a top note of um, like uh, inner city YMCA, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> like locker, and um, sort of like a base of uh, uh, your favorite running shoes from high school that you mm -hmm. just won't get rid of. I know you have this one. Slim Chinos. Yes! Yay! Yes! I had navy tan and all over burgundy clothes. Totally. Color. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it was. Also gray. Gray. For summer. Yeah, a good like lighter kind of gray. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Light denim. No. Mm. No. You have the chinos. I had the chinos. You do not like light denim. No, I don't. I feel like it makes people, makes people's bodies not look the greatest hmm. and it looks way too dressed down and like I sometimes, imbalanced. yeah it, it also just looks sloppy to me hmm. I find unless you're like you have a certain body type it's tailored a certain way but it, there's too many little details that you have to nail in order for it to always look great skunk no. spray or licorice Ugh. they're both horrible they're both, flavors they're both terrible horrible yeah Yeah. That's yeah, funk spray for sure. I only took one bite. There was no way I was going to keep committing. That is so disgusting. <laughs> now you drink all your water. All my water. It's everything you thought it would be and more. It's like someone put just shit in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like just dog poop that. Just like. right in there. All right. Last one. Okay. White leather sneakers. You're doubling up. You already said canvas sneakers. Now you're saying leather sneakers. You had chinos and then light wash jeans. How many of these, <laughs> how many do you have to repeat in your summer essential wardrobe? White leather sneakers and canvas sneakers are not the same thing. And you wear them different places. Of course they're not the same thing, but they're still like the same look. No, I disagree. So white leather sneakers right. are definitely more uh, of like a city or urban vibe so you could wear that to like a cool rooftop bar okay. downtown in the evening and canvas sneakers you might be able to do that but they're definitely more casual chocolate pudding oh or ooh, canned dog food your favorite why mm, dog food chocolate pudding yes the dog food kind of tastes like almonds i can smell it from here that does not t smell like almonds <laughs> All right, well, tell me what was on your list then. Okay, so we got pretty close, but this is why I actually want to do the 10 summer essentials list because there are so many different items out there and depending on 
you know, your type of aesthetic, style aesthetic, and your viewpoint and where you're from. It's nice to just be able for everyone to hear what you would think is on that list and then what I think, and maybe it compiles into a nice big list. Okay, so let's draw a Panama hat. Yeah, that's great for the summer, especially if you're at the beach. If you're um, transparent like I am, you burn. <laughs> you burn. kind of surprised you didn't have this next one on the list. Okay. Sunglasses, but Ooh. I specifically say tortoise shell sunglasses. So either a round frame or more square frame yeah. based on your face shape. Totally. But it's summer. It's Agreed. It's super sunny. That's a good one. I don't know how any guy, I can't survive without sunglasses when the sun's out. It's just my eyes yeah. start to squint. You don't want wrinkles. That's way better than light <laughs> jeans. All right, so the next item on my list, it is a nice tote bag. Oh. So whether it's leather or canvas, I think having a nice tote bag where you can transport either like if you're going to the beach and you have like food or you know your towels whatever so it's like a very useful item and you can use it for groceries all year round you can actually use yep. it functionally for other things exactly i think a lot of guys are intimidated by the tote bag but it's a you i feel like it's a utilitarian thing it's not like you're carrying it like they make some cool purse. ones too some cool looking ones yeah Man, your breath is like canned dog food. God. Where's the toothpaste? Do one? like one of the blues, like something. <laughs> it literally <laughs> smells like dog food. Almonds. <laughs> it was almonds. Okay, so next one that I have on my list is instead of your canvas shoes and your leather shoes, I had boat shoes. Mm. So a good pair of tan or navy boat shoes. I personally love boat shoes. I wear them a lot. And um, they're easy to slip on if you're just going somewhere quickly. Um, I know a lot of guys think they're super preppy or too preppy or too New England, and that's not true at all, especially if you get them in a good color and they're really versatile. So, love boat shoes. So, this next one is well, it's kind of similar to your Henley, mm. but I find this article of clothing a lot more flattering on It's men. a polo. It's a polo show. <laughs> so, yeah. white, navy, blues, heather grays, those are all really great colors. I find that they look great on every body type or and age it doesn't matter what how old you are i just think they're really great during this time of year polos are cool do you uh, have a preference in fabric cotton pima cotton i only recommend the pk cotton if you're a bigger guy because it's a thicker fabric so it helps kind of just airbrush and smooth your body out it doesn't pima cotton will definitely pick up on any kind of lumps or you know just any issues you have with Alopecia. your body <laughs> Last two that were different, unlined sport coat. Oh. Specifically, I said blue, like an unlined blue sport coat. Yeah, so yeah. for those moments where you need to class it up a little bit, but you don't want to be sweating profusely, an unlined sport coat unlined I thought sport was coats are good. definitely yeah, yeah, necessary. Yeah. Look great with uh, the slim chinos that you'll be wearing and not the light denim because <laughs> that was a stupid idea. I don't, I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> Lastly, Again, a little surprise. This is definitely a summer essential. I, okay. Swim trunks. Oh. Swim trunks. Does, do you not go swimming? Maybe you just don't go outside during the I, summer. As you can tell, I don't see the sun a lot. <laughs> and again, follow the rules with your shorts. Mm -hmm. Just have them about an inch, inch and a half above. You can maybe go slightly shorter if you are a um, shorter guy. Or, or a bigger guy as well, you can go a little bit shorter, like mid-thigh. That's an obvious summer essential that was totally an oversight on my part, as well as sunglasses. <laughs> but isn't it hard? It was so hard. It was so hard, I, narrowing I, it down. I was definitely I had having, like 20 things. Yeah, yeah, I had a tough time trying to figure out what are the top 10. All right, so that concludes the Bean Boozle Challenge where we compared our top 10 summer essential items that every guy should own. If you haven't already, definitely check out Andrew's site, primermagazine.com, and and did you have a lot of fun? I had so much fun. Thank you so much. Of course. This was fun. Of course. So, I always like to end my videos with thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Why couldn't you have the stuff on my list? Why are you such a terrible Why? dresser? Why don't you have better style? Are you a Seinfeld fan? Of course. So you know when, I don't know why, when I said why, it reminded me of when Elaine was on all those drugs because she had the back and she was like, Stella! Stella! <laughs> That's what I'm feeling right I, now. I get a bit of Elaine from you. It's definitely like an Elaine. I love her. Cut the shit and eat the stuff. All right.
Yeah, if you're at the beach, especially guys, if uh, you're losing your hair, you gotta keep your head covered, so. <laughs> I apologize for any hairless guy out there. Uh, it's a very valid point. <laughs> I'll do that one again. <laughs> Or if you're fair skinned. If you're fair, oh, oh, oh fair skin. That's a good. That's a good all, all right. All right. <laughs> Maybe it's great for someone that's fair skin and not bulging. Okay. This time, action. Great. Right. For that albino in your family. Great. Right. Alopecia got you covered. <laughs> all right. What do you? Uh, what did you say? The uh, the smoother cotton. Yes. But the pink or classic the pink cotton is, yeah. is, is classic. But the smoother cotton can uh, lay a little uh, more flattering. I only recommend the PK cotton if it's... PK cotton, that's PK. how you say that. Okay. The PK cotton if you're a heavier gentleman. <laughs> can you make me say that? Can you make me say PK? Is that how you say it? PK! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you want to start again? Uh, yeah. What did I say? Okay. Uh, oh. You said I prefer like the smoother cotton oh, versus okay. the, the PK cotton. Oh. Yeah. So you just need to say PK cotton. So I prefer the smoother. I prefer the smoother uh, cotton shirt. All right, so that concludes the Bean Boozle Challenge. Now you know what our... Um, Let's start that again. <laughs>